We've talked to a bunch of drivers. Now let's get the viewpoint of a crewman. We're talking to Tim Koffler, crew member on the K2 Dirt Late model. Give us an idea of what a crewman is responsible for in this sport. We pretty much change the setups on the car. John Cazzini tells us what he needs, tells us what he wants done on the car. We got to hurry up. A lot of times rush around and do it. You know, check the fuel, fill the fuel, just go over the car a little bit every time he comes in. Now John's the one that makes the call on what to change. Yes, yes. Now I've been a crew member on a dirt car and I, I know they'll tell you, okay, three off of this and two on that mm. and you know, yeah. a little wedge. And, do you know what all that stuff actually does or you just know how to make those changes? I just know how to make the changes. I'm, I'm learning about what each thing does, you know, but I'm not really on top of it yet. I've been with John for about two years now and I'm starting to starting to learn the setups on the car. Have you ever had the opportunity to drive any kind of race car? I, I used to drive a Charger car and a four-cylinder car. I raced myself for about probably 10 years, but never in a late model. Well, how'd you get hooked up with John? I've been friends with John for a long time, and when I quit racing, he needed an extra crew member, and I just joined the crew. When John comes in and starts shouting out orders, what needs to be done? Mm. Uh, is there any ever argument out of the crew saying, no, that we tried that last time, that didn't work? Not too often. Once in a while, but not too often. Do you remember what you did last time and whether it worked or not? What I did tonight? Yeah, what I did tonight worked, yes. Okay, mm. now last there's time times, you were racing. There, there's times that I remember that it didn't, but you have that sometimes, yeah. Do you make notes of that stuff so you know not to do it next yes, time? Yes, we do. We make notes, yep. Mm. When you end up in a winter circle, is it just as sweet being there as a crewman as it was being a driver? Oh, I, I think so. I enjoy it just as much being a crew member as I did when I was racing. As long as I'm involved with it, I enjoy it. Could these drivers do this without a good crew? No. <laughs> I'll tell you right out, no. <laughs> if it wasn't for the crew members, John probably wouldn't go around the track. Okay, <laughs> folks, here you have it. It's the truth. No crew, no driver. And that's the story from Roaring Knob Motorsports Park. This is Tom Lang reporting for Open Throttle 360.